Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the previous video we have completed about what is ng style in Angular, all right? So in this video we will focus on what is ng class. And just to just remind you that we are currently learning what is attribute directive in Angular, all right? So so this is the second thing which we're gonna learn today that what is ng class in Angular, all right? So let me just get into the video now. So here you can see I have this. So let me first tell you about uh, what is actually a classes in HTML. So here I have created some classes. I have this text color as red. We have text red, text green, text orange, text bold, and text big. So we, I have created all these classes already in my CSS, and I want to apply all these classes so that I can change the what we say appearance of my elements of my DOM elements. So for example, if suppose I have a text, I have a H4 tag, okay, uh, which says that uh, line number one, okay, line number one, okay. And I want to apply that class. Okay, my class name was class text red. Okay, when I say my class name is text red, and this class has this particular CSS, this has a color as red. Okay, so what we are expecting now, we are expecting that this line number one, this H4 heading will be in red color. Let me save it and let's check on the browser what we get. Okay, it is refreshing. Okay, so here you can see the line number one is red. If at all I just change the class name as text green, this one. So let's try to change it to text green and save it and check on the browser. And you can see the color has been getting changed. So we, what we are doing is we are we are making use of this classes to change the uh, styling of this particular element, that H4 element. All right. So now, so this was just a basic about what are classes. So now, if I want to make use of binding here okay i want to bind this class okay so when i say binding i'm making use of that square bracket let me have a h4 okay and inside it i will have my class so what i'll do here is when i say binding i will bind this class so i'm using a square bracket now all right and inside this class i can have the class name okay i'll say equal to my it will be inside my string and my this single okay so here you can see my uh, now what I want to make use of I want to make use of text red. So what I'll do inside this I'll type the class name as text red. All right, and I'll have the value of this as line number two. Okay. So what I did I just make use of this property binding. I just uh, make use of the square bracket for this class name and what I'm binding I'm binding this particular value text red. Okay. I'm writing it what we say this is just a static value which I am putting here. So this value can also become from your component. This can come because we have this kind of binding. Let me save it and let's check on the browser. Okay. So here you can see the class has been applied successful to this line number two. All right. So now what I'll do here is in my, in my third example, what I'll do, I'll make use of my component now. Okay. So this value will, this text red will value will be coming from my property and that property will be present inside this component. Okay. So let me have a property first inside my component. Okay. Let me create a property as, okay. Let me have a public my class and it will be of type string. Okay. And that class name will be text big. Okay. So this text big is already there in my CSS. So I'm making use of this text big here. Okay. So now this property is present inside my control in my component. I'll make use of this property now. Okay. To bind to this particular class. Let me have a binding by using square bracket and it will be equals to my, this property, which property, which I have created here. So let me copy this, my class and paste it after this equal to. Okay, and I'll have this as line number three. Let me save it. Now, what we are expecting, we are expecting that text big, okay, and that the value of the text big is font size to 55 pixels. So, so style will be applied to this particular line number three. So I'm expecting this to look uh, bigger as compared to this first two. Let's see, okay, as expected. All right, so what we did here is we have applied this class and this my class is present where inside your component. Okay, so this is what this was a class binding here because we are making of this square bracket. All right. Now let me take up a four exam fourth example how we can make use of this property binding. Okay, let me have a h4 tag. Okay, and this will be my line number four. Okay, I want to bind the class. So what how I can do it? So this is the fourth way by, by which I am using making use of the class in my HTML. So what I'll do here is I'll say 
class dot name of your class okay so which class you want to apply now this will be basically a conditional kind of class if you want to suppose i want to apply text bold okay i want to apply this text bold let me make use of this class text bold let me copy it let me paste here when i say class dot my class name my class name is text bold okay and this will be conditional okay so whenever i say my value is true when i say my value is true so this text bold will be applied to this line number 4 let me show you here you can go text bold okay so let's let's try to verify it yeah the font weight is 800 and this is what it is getting applied text bold if at all i just say here and say as false and save and if you go on the browser you can see that class has been removed all right so let me just make it again true and let me show you now what i'll do here is i'll just inspect now okay tell me i'll just so that in so that you that okay that all the class is getting applied or not here you can see i have all this h4 which which i have like the line number 1 2 3 4 everything you can see here right if suppose uh, you can see this line number 4 this here it is text bold has been applied if at all i just make the value to false and save it now you can see that the class has been removed so it is now conditional based so whatever if my condition is true then the class will be applied if, and if it is false then the class will be removed all right so in this way we have learned like how we can bind our classes but we are here to learn ng class okay so how exactly we can make use of it like if suppose whatever i am doing right now is i am just applying a single class what if there is a requirement that i want to use multiple classes i want to apply multiple classes there so at that time what should i do so for that i'll make use of this ng class okay so let me first create a, a multiple class kind of object inside my component okay i'll have a public and i say uh, say this as the property name as multiple class okay and what i'll do here is i'll just have the everything every classes in term of this inside this object i'll have text uh, red okay and text red will be displayed when when the value is true okay i want to display this true all right i want to display also a text big i want to apply this class as well and the value will be let me make it true and then i'll just make it false to show the difference okay and i'll want to apply one more class the class name is text bold okay i want to apply it so i want to have this value as the this is my key this is my value so i want to uh, on the left side whatever you see this will be my class name and the value is true if it is true then it will be applied if it is false then it will not be applied okay let me first show you the demonstration then i can explain you what exactly i am saying like how exactly this changing this value will reflect okay on the on the browser okay now what i will make use of this multiple class now so how i can use this multiple class for that i can't have just saying class dot multiple class i'll have to make use of the ng class okay i'll say h4 tag again and this will be my line number 5 okay and here i will say that ng class okay this is my directive ng class and what i'll say the value as multiple class now this class will have all the classes which is present inside this particular object multiple class let me save it let me show you on the browser here you can see all my classes has been applied let me verify it from here you can see this line number 5 i have the class as text red text big and text bold if at all i want to remove this text bold okay so what i'll do here is i'll just go here in my component i'll just say this value as false let me save it and there you go you can see the change has been applied and if you see here in the class i have only two text red and text big all right so in this way we have learned how we can apply multiple classes as well when for applying having a multiple classes conditional classes we make use of the ng class in angular okay so what i have did here is i have created the object here inside my component 
but what if I want to make uh, let I want to have an object here inside this HTML only. So let's try to demonstrate that for you. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just have one more H4 with line number six. Okay, so whatever I did uh, on my component, the same thing I can do here as well. I can create the object literals over here with this ng class. Let me have the ng class again because why we are having ng class? Because we are using multiple classes. Because we are using like I want to have two three classes. Okay, some conditional thing also. So for that I am using this ng class. And what I'll say here is I'll create an object literal here only. Okay. And inside it, I can apply the same thing. Whatever I did on the component, I'll do the same thing here inside my HTML. So I'll have a single put and I'll say that text red. Let me have text green. Red I have already applied. So I'll have a text green and the value will be true. If the value is true, then it, this class will be applied. Let me have, let me press a comma here and let, I can have the second class as well. In single quotes, I'll say text big okay and the value will be true all right and let me save save these things and let me show in the browser here you can see i have this line number six and the two class has been applied if at all i just make the value as false inside my html only it will take that value and you can see that i have only one class applied which is text green all right and this condition can also this true or false condition can also come from your property if you want so let me throw an example here for you guys okay let me have a property as a public property and the property name will be is big okay and this this is of type boolean and the value is false initially okay so whatever property now I'm using like whatever true or false I'm making it from here I can do it from my component as well I can apply this property where here text big when I paste it let me save it and you can see the same thing is reflecting again line number six and I can see only text green if suppose I just make this is big value as true You can see the changes has been applied and you can see one more class has been added the text big all right so yeah so this was all about uh, ng class in angular all right so if you have any doubt any queries related to this topic you can mention that in the comment section i will definitely gonna answer all your queries there all right and till that time bye bye and keep learning guys bye